welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. Our facilities manager was doing rounds last week and I asked him if the ultraviolet or UV light machines the environmental services team is using to help disinfect patient rooms can also disinfect the air in the room. To answer my question, he explained how UV lights work and how they kill germs. Killing germs with UV light requires two important metrics. The first is the intensity of the UV light or how much UV radiation the bulbs are producing. It's measured in milliwatts per square centimeter. The stronger or more intense the UV light, the faster it can kill germs. The second metric is the length of exposure time or how long the light shines on the germs. UV lights disinfect by killing everything on a surface, whether the surface is a nurse call pillow speaker, a toilet handle, or a light switch. The germs must come into direct contact with the UV light for enough time based on the intensity of the specific light to be killed. And materials like dirt and dust can block the UV light, preventing it from killing germs. Is it possible for UV light to kill the germs floating in the air? The short answer is yes, but because the air is always moving, new germs are always being introduced into spaces. It's important for us to remember that air in patient rooms is constantly being replaced with fresh air through the building's heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC system. In talking with our facilities manager, I learned that UV lights are used in our air handling units to disinfect the hot and cold water coils, and the possibility of using UV light in the ductwork to disinfect all the air before it reaches a room is being researched. It's an exciting prospect, but there are challenges tied to the two metrics mentioned earlier, the intensity of the UV light and the length of exposure. The air and ductwork moves very fast, and this raises concerns as to whether the germs are getting exposed to UV light long enough for disinfection. Also, it's not clear whether the materials that carry germs, like respiratory droplets and dust, help protect germs from the UV light. UV lights are great for killing germs, and there is the potential for them to kill germs floating in the air. However, there is still more research that needs to be done to determine the effectiveness of killing germs in the air to prevent infection. If you have more questions about the layers of infection control used in our HVAC systems, visit with Facilities Management. They'd love to talk with you about it.